each one of those images. Okay. Oh, so this is the before. Yeah. 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 Okay. Can they? I don't know if they can see it. Are, well, maybe you can explain it, Robert. Um, it's just this is sketchbook drawings. I did when I was fourteen. Not really. Yeah. I think there. Are, I mean. I mean, this is pretty unusual for a 14 year old. Really? Okay. I, I, Robert? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I think it was, it was pretty sprite. But the thing that, that's maybe exceptional about Sophie is that she just kept at it. She never stopped. She just kept doing it. So she became exceptional, I think, later. I know. When she was in her 20s, when she really started to be showing that she was really exceptional because she just, just kept doing it. Yeah. Don't say that? No. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> well, we have some images from the 20s coming up, so you'll be... But, uh, exceptional. You know, a lot of kids, I should so we said, draw when they're kids and even in their teens, you know, aspire towards being drawing cartoons or whatever, you know. So it's not that... This isn't that unusual for a 14-year-old, no. but... Are just, they dark? How dark is this? Dark? When does the dark period? <laughs> this after this. Later. In her 20s. When she comes to New York? If, yeah. I don't know. It depends on who's looking, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, let's, there, are two, there are two parts together. These are images 15 and 16. Uh, one is a, I thought it was a, the previous 19. one, it's a very good picture of adolescence. Mm -hmm. A lot of hash smoking going on in France. I, I didn't hear, what did you say? A lot of hash smoking going on in France. Is that, but yeah. the faces are, what are the faces of them? Yeah, they're obviously reptiles. Is <laughs> 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 this? There was a lot of hippie hanging it's out awesome. in France. I live, we live in like a kind of northern California type of place in France. A lot of hippie grungy types. In France they call it she still shit. <laughs> well, you live in a. Describe the town and Robert. What's it like compared to where you were in California? It's really hard to compare a small French village to a small town in America. It's very different. You know, it's all medieval. Medieval clustered, very clumpy, close together. And the families are very tight and close. They've been there. A lot of them have been there generations. And very Latin. Yeah, it's very Latin from there where we live. And. The, the kids are much more tied to their families, think they're tighter that way. You guys never really got that close to no. people. They stay in their little world of knickknacks and records and <laughs> drawing. <laughs> I was way more involved in people and schools and stuff. In France, yeah, I yeah. was explaining to them how stuff worked you know, yeah. in France. And they were like, right. my mom still can't write in French. No, I can't, they can't even talk. Speak French. Would you say all of you are accepted in the town, Sophie? Are we accepted in our village? Yeah. Not by all of them, no. Because a lot of them are old Italians and old you know, French families that see us and a lot of people that live there have moved there recently as the hippies, the outsiders, the weirdos. And our village has a lot of artists and strange people and a lot of the hunter type guys. You know, just they don't get see that. Well, I've seen your house. I would say your house is not your typical American-looking <laughs> house. What is it, five floors? Levels. It's, it's pretty weird. It's just weird. It's all like high, high. It's not. It's, it's narrow, and this, that village is still in this rocky hillside. All the houses are narrow and tall, so it's very expensive. You can't. It's very comparable to any American type right. town. People say, when, when was your house built? What year was it built? It's just impossible because the, those houses evolved over centuries. They weren't built in some particular year. Well, it's you know. really old. When I was there in July, I remember for Sophie's wedding, I remember just room after room with all these collections. <laughs> and maybe you could describe some of the okay, collections. No, let's not talk about it. I want people to you know, come there and steal my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, you. <laughs> It's, um, it's a very it's much a junk junk. ridiculous <laughs> amount of junk. You can see how to junk it. So Pretty you want to hear it all? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you want to deal with it. That sounds fun. 
It may be junk, but it was definitely a statement of an art. We all died for you. You're probably good doing all that stuff, I don't know. I'll make it into a museum. I right. don't touch any of it. Like the Crumb Museum. The Crumb Museum. It feels like a museum. It is a museum. Sophie, were you ever embarrassed to take friends home? Probably. Well, when she was a teenager, in the since we were tolerant, the kids used to That's come over to our house and smoke hashish in yeah. Sophie's bedroom. So she had this little table and they all looked and they all sat around and smoked that sheet. <laughs> um, Sophie had a very bad cough from that, smoking that crap. Alright. <laughs> Robert about this containing some of the best artwork. 